Hey everyone, I'm Jillian Jess with MouthpieceSports.com. You may not recognize the guy shooting baskets behind me, but that is Pierre Pierce, former Illinois high school star who went away to the University of Iowa, and that's where his story really took off. You're about to hear it in his own words. made some poor decisions, poor mistakes, and you know, it uh, cost me the red shirt. I had to plead guilty to assault, and uh, I had to perform community service because of that, and um, set out the whole year, thought about you know the mistakes I made, and um, it forced me to look back and take a step back from the game a little bit, and you know, work on being a better person. something I have a lot of respect for, you know, as a person and, you know, he recruited me, he got to know me very well and we developed a relationship uh, over the course of time. So my teammates were great, you know, I couldn't ask for better teammates, they, they helped me out through the process. It was tough for me not playing, so um, during practice I would just try to, you know, give them everything I had so they could be prepared uh, for the games. Now you said Coach Alford and you still maintain a good relationship? Yeah, me and Coach Alford, you know, we're always going to have a relationship together. and. Um, you know, along with his family and my family, you know. I got a lot of respect for him as a person, as a coach, and, you know, obviously as a player, because he was a great player at Indiana University. So, um, Coach Alfred, he's always going to have a special place in my heart. Besides Coach and the team, how did everybody else react to your situation and the fact that you were allowed to redshirt? I don't think a lot of people understood the situation fully, um, not being able to understand the facts of everything. So I'm sure there's a lot of mixed feelings in the community. But, um, you know, my teammates and my family, we all stuck together and, you know, they helped me get through some tough times. Did you read any newspapers or watch the news during that period? Not really. You know, I stay away from the news and uh, the papers, even if it's good or bad. You know, I just kind of stay out of that and just let, you know, everybody else take care of reading that. So, you know, I really didn't pay much attention to it because uh, it's just another distraction I've had to worry about.